it's one thing to use it but it's another thing to use it properly because i was using it before and thought i was getting really great results but now that i use it this way using this technique i get really good results like I am really impressed. Hey honey bunny, it is your girl XO Rocky and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the perfect way to use the Ambi Fade Cream to fade your dark spots. So as you know, I've put out plenty of videos talking about my hyperpigmentation and how I have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and I discussed the ways and the products that I use to help fade all of my dark spots, all of my hyperpigmentation, all of my acne scars. So I do have a complete review on the Ambi Fade Cream already, so if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out. But today I'm gonna show you the updated way that I actually use the Fade Cream to fade everything. And I've recently been doing this for maybe six months or so, and I've seen a huge difference in how quickly my hyperpigmentation fades. So let's hop into this video but before we do let me introduce myself in case you're new here I'm Rocky I make videos about natural hair healthy skin nails and just overall health and wellness so if any of those topics interest you go ahead and tap that subscribe button join the bunny family because I would love to have you but let's get into this video Okay, so I have the Ambi Skincare Fade Cream, and this is a bleaching agent for the gradual fading of dark brownish spots. Every time I come to you, I feel like my tube that I'm using is deformed, but for today's video, I'm showing you how I use it now to fade my hyperpigmentation. After I've completely washed my face, I've applied all my moisturizers. Now I apply the Ambi Fade Cream last. Before, I was applying the Ambi Fade Cream under my moisturizers, and now I do it after my moisturizer, after my SPF, and the reason is I want the Ambi Fade Cream to dissolve into my skin. I no longer rub it in, I just let it fade into my skin, and I find that this is the most effective way to spot treat. And we're going to apply the Fade Cream to the Q-tip, and then we're just gonna spot treat. You don't have so much of that bleaching effect. And I also use the Q-tip to kind of push the fade cream into my skin, like I really dab it in there. And then I'm gonna just let this sit on my face until it completely dissolves. So I'll come back to you once this is all dissolved into my skin. This is what it looks like after 30 minutes. So as you can see, it's starting to dissolve into my skin. I would say within another 15 minutes, it will completely be dissolved. I will be back in 15 minutes. Okay, so this is what it looks like after about another 15 minutes. So at this point, I just take one of my fingers, it doesn't matter which one, usually my pointer finger, and I just dab it into that spot. A lot of it has already faded in, like a lot of the areas don't need to be dabbed in, they just naturally fade in. But any areas that has leftover fade cream, I just dab it in. I'm not rubbing it, I'm not applying the fade cream to any areas of my skin that don't need fade cream. I'm just spot treating, so this is the real deal spot treatment we're not applying it to any surfaces that don't need to be faded not rub just dab and we're really pushing this fade cream into this spot So after everything has been pushed in or faded into my skin, that finishes my skincare routine. So I used to do the Ambi Fade Cream kind of towards the beginning of my skincare routine, but now it's the last step of my skincare routine. Now I know this may mean some of you may have to get up a little bit earlier so that the Fade Cream can seep into your skin. Today happens to be a day where I don't have work, but what I usually do on the days where I do have work is I just let it sit on and I actually during my drive to work I typically will leave the house and I'll still have a little bit of the 
fade cream still on my skin but by the time I get to work it has completely dissolved into my skin so if you do have a little bit of a commute you can use that time to like let the cream dissolve into your skin but our goal is to no longer rub it on our skin and distribute it in areas where we don't need to fade the skin and this way you get the maximum benefit <clears throat> And this way you do get the maximum benefit from the fade cream because now we're strictly spot treating and I just see the results are much more rapid now that I only focus on the one spot. Now this idea wasn't originally mine. I got it from a comment in my fade cream review. One of the girls was like, Mm, you know you just beat the purpose of spot treating when you rub it into your skin completely like that is like more so using it as a bleaching agent so if you just focus the cream on your spots and then let it dissolve into your skin you'll get better results and I tried it out and it worked really well for me and that's why I'm always telling you guys like leave me comments let me know all the tricks and tips that you have so I could use them and then I could show everyone else and we can just share the knowledge so yes I do love it when you guys leave me tips because I will use them except for the never mind I'm not even gonna mention it we're not even gonna go there anyways I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you learned something new. If you have any comments you want to share, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'd be happy to comment back to you. We can have a conversation. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I would love it and I like to see like which videos you guys prefer and one of the ways it's really easy for me to see that is if you like it. Also subscribe to me because I'd love to have you share this video because I do think it would be really beneficial for people to see how to properly use the Ambi Fade Cream because it's one thing to use it but it's another thing to use it properly because I was using it before and thought I was getting really great results but now that I use it this way using this technique I get really good results like I am really impressed and it's been six like I said it's been six months that I've been doing this and my hyperpigmentation fades so much quicker now so yes definitely share this video but share the knowledge and as always subscribe to me because I'd love to have you but until next time see ya